Okay, everybody, welcome to another boring unboxing. We're going to start with a an envelope here. Let's see what's inside this envelope. And it is the Fountain of Youth and Other Adventures for the Lost Expedition. Well, I know Z liked the Lost Expedition, so this is going to be one that he will probably enjoy. Well, that's a good way to start an unboxing. We got Poetry Slam. This is from Mayday Games, a party-style game. I don't know anything about it, really, other than it's about a poetry slam. But I like, okay, I don't like poems that much, but some people do. Let's see what's in this one. Ooh, now this one I'm very excited about. I am, this is one I'm going to get to the table as soon as I can. Holding on the troubled life of Billy Kerr. This is a game in which you're, someone is basically dying and you're going through their life. I'm really kind of intrigued by this. I don't know anything about it, um, but it really sounds fascinating, the theme at least. Cool. All right, let's see what's in this small box here. Well, it's not that small, I guess. Medium box. Oh, looks like another harvest style game. Ooh, Philip DuBerry, I do like him. Embark. As new islands appear out of the midst and your voyages. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I like Philip's games a lot. And Tasty Minstrel, this looks like it's in the har harbor slash harvest universe again. Maybe it's not, but it sure looks like it. Yeah, it's definitely in that universe. All right, cool. I look forward to trying this one out. All right, here's a pretty big box with uh, staples in it. That's showing it that we're taking this seriously. When you got staples. Arrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrar
All right, this is from Blackrock Games. So let's see what it is. Fertility. Huh. It's kind of an interesting, it's an interesting name. Ancient Egyptian theme. Oh, I like how the back of the box looks a lot. Huh. Well, that looks cool. I think I'll get this one to the table sooner rather than later. Neat. Okay, now we got like a little envelope here. Let's see what's in this one. Crypt. Here lies the king. Well, yes, he does. Huh. It's a fast-paced set collection game with unique dice placement mechanism. All right, that looks cool. Crypt, 25 minutes, one to four players. Neat. All right, another envelope. What do we think is in this one? It's from Osprey Games. The Unquiet Dead Wildlands. Martin Wallace, is this a game? No, these are just the miniatures. Requires a copy of Wildlands to play. Yeah, for all I know, I've already got a copy of that. I don't know. Or maybe it's one of these other boxes I haven't opened yet. We'll find out soon enough. All right. The boxes are getting bigger. Ah, Sam's going to be super happy about this one. Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault, which is a sequel or basically compatible with Warhammer Underworld's, whatever the other one was called, Shadespire. So this one has Dawn Guard against the Briar Queen. She doesn't look like she's that nice of a queen. Undead type stuff. Wow, they must be a pain to put their models together. Huh. Who knows? She does look pretty happy. Happy birthday to you. Now the boxes are definitely getting bigger. This one's nice and big. I don't know what it is. A big box always has me excited. But you never know what you're going to get inside it. Dawn of the Peacemakers. Ooh. Ooh. Well, this one has me super pumped. Dawn of the Peacemakers, a cooperative story-driven gaming experience. It's a campaign for... Well, I haven't heard of this one at all. But, I mean, I'm loving on the art. It has miniatures. This looks fantastic. Cool. I can't wait to play this one. All right, this one came with a hole in it. Eh. Hey, it's a Martin Wallace game. I've heard about this one for a while. Australia. The Great Designer Series. Zombies. Custom Resource. Wait. Maybe it's not zombies. It looks like Cthulhu. I'm super confused. Martin Wallace really likes Cthulhu. That's for sure. Explore. Build. Farm. Be prepared for the fight of your life. Cool. Alright, well this one's going to be interesting because... It's like, looks like it came directly from China. Planet, this is from Blue Orange Games, their newest big box style game. Oh, that's right, I'm super pumped about this one because it has the dodecahedron with the different tiles on it. That's gonna be neat, I'm super pumped about that. You're making your... Oh, yes. I'm pumped about this one for sure. That's Planet. All right, this one's so big it barely fits on the screen here. This is the last one for this boring unboxing, folks. But I think I know what this one is. I was correct. Woohoo! All right, so let's see what we got here. Terraforming Mars. Steamrollers. Paper Tales, Kalanala, okay, Survive, The Pursuit of Happiness, Elysium, Cottage Garden, Indian Summer, Spring Meadow, Fortress, Flea, Prelude, Fear, Venus Next, and the expansion for 
pursuit of happiness. You say, wait a minute, Vassal, I've seen you review all those games. That's correct. That's because these games are going in the Dice Tower Library, which is going to be used for Dice Tower Retreats and Dice Tower Cruise. So that's pretty cool. Looking forward to trying these out, or, well, playing them again. I'm excited. Folks, that's it for another very unboring unboxing. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassal, and this has been the Dice Tower.